a special scent on you. It... It... Smells like honey. Or iris. Or a crushed ladybug. I like it. Desert Flannel's dizziness is in remission. She's already well enough to deal with her business on the fax machine. Will it do harm to her physical condition? Miss Desert Flannel is only experiencing a very mild reaction. She can move around freely and it is recommended for her to do so. Miss Bethadia, on the contrary... She's not even awake. No. But her body temperature and her arcanum level are getting stable now. She should wake up any minute. Is it because she took part in too many events in the stadium? That's right. She has to stay in bed for the next three days. As well as Ms. Regulus and Mr. Apple. I have asked Miss Bunny to send them the medicine. If everything went well, they should have woken up by now. Dr. Ezra, I'm back. Both Mr. Apple and Miss Regulus are awake now, so I gave them some medicine. But Miss Ulu is still in a coma. Don't worry. Miss Ulu is different to the other unconscious arcanists. She was weakened by the long sleep, 
while the other Arcanists lost consciousness because of external factors. Look, this is their physiological data in the last three hours. Many Arcanists have told us that their physical abilities were improved as they entered the stadium. They felt they were in a refreshed state, like they had a good sleep or rested properly. But after they competed in four to six different games, or the average sporting time exceeded 3.5 hours, they would feel dizzy, as if they had consumed too much alcohol. And these symptoms were relieved soon after they left the stadium. Ah, you mean people are in oblivion because of that stadium? If that place is so dangerous, is it possible to hold the games again? I think this is why in the past, athletes were only allowed to compete in three different sports. As long as we stick with the same rule, the safety of our athletes shouldn't be problematic. Oh, I got it. So this place is just as safe as the club I work in. As long as we ain't breaking the rules, nothing will happen. Like how the bodyguards and I take care of our club, the rule and special medicine made by Miss Ezra will protect the Uluru Stadium. <laughs> Miss? Oh, what's wrong, Miss Ezra? Miss Bunny, um, but you see, uh, I'm not a miss. Huh? You were funny, Miss Ezra. Please stop teasing me. What else can you be except a lady? A gentleman? Ezra is indeed a he. Water in the nutrition supplement capsule. No! No, 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 no! No! You're, you're a boy? When did you turn into a boy? Yes, I'm a boy. I was a boy when I was born, and I have been that way since. Spathadia looks completely absent-minded, arms around her knees, and Missy Ezra here is holding her forehead and looks... overwhelmed? Jeez. Uh, um, he! He is not a Missy! He's a buddy! Uh, buddy, Ezra? So what? Boy or girl, is that such a big deal? Nothing is more important than this. Dear Miss Verdon, I am glad to hear from you. No, no, not that one. That's for Verdon. From some guy called Slouch Hat. Oh, thank you. He's my contact in Australia. We've been writing letters these days. So, what am I supposed to look at then? This one? Large scale event application form. Alice Springs government. <gasps> this, is, this is. that thing! <laughs> yes! We just need to go to the city hall, fill in the form, and submit it. Then we're ready to have our Uluru games! What are we waiting for then? Let's hit the road! No! 
Miss Bethadia, you haven't fully recovered. You need to rest. I'm not feeling that bad. Actually, I'm feeling really good. That's right. Really good. The city hall's not like a no-man's land. We're just going there to fill in some forms. They won't hurt me. Okay? Okay? No! No! This time is different! This is not like what happened before, Miss Bathadia. I'm your doctor, and I'm responsible for your health. I can't let you leave my sight. Your sight? Your sight? Faster than the potion drunk Miss Sosa be. Okay, since the doctor and the patient are both happy, I, the event assistant producer, am also hitting the road. Wait for our good news! What are these? And this? Look, I know English, but I don't understand any of the things written here. What is Northern Territory Event Security Law? Oh, and what is Type 3 Field Safety Certification? Ugh, I think I'll just go with C here for event types. That's what looks closest to the Uluru Games, since they have both two-word phrases. Maybe let's just go with that one. I, uh, always go with see when I have no idea what I'm reading. <laughs> Mass event application, fire escape plan. Miss Bathodia, does the stadium have a fire escape? Not in Flammy's memory. Let me check Spathadia's. Alright, I have no idea at all. The sports are all that I care about. Well, I'm just gonna write down an unknown here. You... Uh... <sighs> How are you, my grumpy little friend? Finally made up your mind to help? No. I have no desire to help a patient who doesn't care about her own health. You are on your own. Government Service Center, District B, Window 13 at your service. Thanks for your waiting. Your form will be examined. Oh, great. She stopped. What happened? <gasps> it's not a good look. I've seen that look on Miss Judy's face. She's my math teacher. Whenever she puts on that face. Yes? It means... None of your answers are correct. Uh-huh. Told you we can't fill who knows in the form. Who knows you can't write that? Yes, Miss Desert. I'm sorry. 
And you are... Hello! I am Spathodea! The director of the event! This counter is... way too high! Should have let Desert Flannel... talk to you! But she's... feeling sick! After reading the form! So... I have to do it instead! I will prepare a stool for you. Please stop jumping. the Arcanist Gathering Registration Form, the Mass Events Application Form, and the Desert Areas Gathering Application Form. Your application will be in the approval process very soon. Gosh, yes! I'd go crazy if I had to fill them in again! I've never experienced such pain. We cried on each other's shoulders several times. <laughs> Same for me. I'm sorry? It's nothing. But please, take a look here at the second half of the sports game process and events application form. Most of the events of your application have been confirmed, not approved. If you want to add them to the Uluru Games, an independent application for each event's security permissions is required. How can I get the permission then? You need to fill in these forms and take live photos for the events you want to apply for. Dear. I've also learned something today. That is... It pains me more to see people suffer than to endure my own suffering. I prefer to give them a hand. Please, leave the paperwork to me. I can jump to reach the counter. Stool. Take another stool over there. Ah, <laughs> yes. Jumping for too long would cause irreversible damage to my meniscus. Thank you so much. The games in Flammy woke me up when I was still a small flame a millennia ago. They made me fanatic and crazy. How amazing, my young friend. I'm just like the present me when I talk to you. What do you mean, the present me? An old flame that has been burning for over a thousand years. You are smart, and your ideas are fun. I've been paying attention to you when I was still a small flame. Looks like you have a lot of expectations for the Uluru games. Sometimes it feels like you care about the games even more than Flammy does. 
I do have hopes for it. My wish to revive the games is stronger than Ezra's, and my expectations for it are higher than Spathodia's. After all, we're in a different age now, which means we can achieve much more than a sports game. But to be honest, I'm impressed by Miss Spathodia's energy and passion for all these. She's... Huh? Who are those people by her side? Okay. Our engineer will bring you the suitable sample materials before tomorrow at 5 p.m. You can make a choice then. And you'll see the architectural drawing tomorrow morning. Spathodia, who are they? They are engineers from the past. Our buildings don't meet the government's requirements, so we have to repair them. Ezra called them from Alice Springs, and Laplace seems very supportive. They took the fastest ride and got here in less than an hour. Repair? Will they change the internal structure of this stadium? Of course not. There's no way I'd let them do that. The Uluru Stadium is not a creation of Arcanists, but a gift from great nature and its noble spirit. All we'll do inside is sweat and let our spirits burn. Wait. I just heard something. I heard it too. It's... Uh... The Bunyips! And those thorny devils! They must have snuck out from the stadium! Uh, darn those tabloids! We're at the center of the storm now! These things just won't let us go. Like some cockroaches attracted to an open jaw of jam. There are scraps of paper sticking to the corner of their mouths. Is that... newspaper? Mayhem. Revival squad of Illyrio Games in City Hall with Bunny Girl? Mental breakdown of receptionist exclusive on Australian Necker? <gasps> Gosh, children! What have you done out there? Silence. A forest party! I seldom work together with others, but this is not bad. An experienced adult is coming to your aid. I'm here for a worn tooth. Great decision. 
Roger, come on. Everyone has their own decision. Hold on to that. Thin. Just like in the train. I smell the scent of mint oil. Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. <laughs> 